Welcome everybody to our tech talk. In this tech talk, we're going to talk about how to manage our virtual machines and containers together using Hubert on a Kubernetes environment. What is the use case then for running virtualized workloads within Kubernetes? Well, Kubernetes is essentially everywhere. It's growing and it's just going to keep on growing and become the fabric of cloud and our underlying infrastructures. There are going to be workloads that fall into a number of use cases or a number of categories that perhaps doesn't make sense to containerize. Right. And we could probably group them into three different categories. So the benefits of running a virtual machine onto our containerized environment is, of course, first of all, you reduce your control plane footprint. You no longer have a containerized environment, a Kubernetes environment, in your virtual environment. It's now one environment. You have one control plane that handles everything, which is Kubernetes kind of reduces the footprint and also reduces the complexity because now you're managing everything through your Kubernetes APIs. So let's talk about the actual installation and the steps that we're going to go through today. We're going to look at these four components to get a Kubert environment set up. So of course, number one, we have our Kubernetes environment, which is K0s. On top of that, then once we have KZOs deployed, we're going to deploy the Kubra operator, which then provides us all of the different concepts of a virtual machine, right? So the virtual machine definitions, the virtual machine instances, all of the components needed for uh, running that within the containerized environment. We're then going to install a uh, virt CTL, which actually helps us manage the virtual machines within the Kubra environment. Potentially, we're going to install some of the libvirt clients on the worker just to check for compatibility and all that. But those are the main components that you're going to need to get a working environment with Kubert. So let's go through the actual process. What would it look like? All right. And the setup is going to be the same. Like I mentioned earlier, we've well, already got the entire, um, I've got my laptop set up already. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to go ahead and deploy the cluster deploy the actual virtual CTL components, and then we'll have a look at the environment and see what the end result looks like. 